Hello everyone. Don't mind the intense makeup. I had to take pictures today. <laughs> um, I don't normally ride all dolled up like this. different um, I wanted to change things up I'm going to work a little bit on some bridalist work with him um, so just working on riding him with just my leg aids and using a neck rope and then um, we might put the bridle back on and do a few cross rails easy day some fun so we didn't end up going completely bridalist. Uh, I didn't catch it on video, but during our warm up, he was pretty insane. Uh, he just wanted to race everything that moved, including uh, leaves, trees, the tractor, other horses, birds. So I just left his bridle on um, and then worked him through it and did a nice warm up. And when I felt like he had calmed down a bit and was listening to me, I just dropped the reins and used only the neck rope and um you know working towards going bridalist but he he wasn't quite there yet today it was a it was a crazy day <laughs> i think right here was where uh he knocked my stirrup into the railing because i failed at having enough outside leg because yeah uh you know it happens I'm still not perfect, guys. I'm not pretending to be. I know that I suck a lot of times. Um, then he started to calm down a bit more, and I asked him for the canner right here. Um, this is his, I love his canner on his right lead. It's a lot more comfortable than his left lead. Um, but he's doing pretty good. His only issue on this side is just, uh, I really have to have my outside leg on him or he'll like just push me into the rail. But he listened to his downward transitions, which was super cute. Yeah, and super um, <laughs> he halted, which I was proud of him on. Um, just getting him to work down a bit with the reins. And then when I felt like he, um, Calm down slightly, I drop the reins again. Working on those outside aids. Inside leg, inside leg. There we go. He loves to spiral on the side so bad. Inside leg, do it. <laughs> He got a little excited there. He's so cute. Um, <laughs> but see what I mean? He likes to spiral in. So instead of staying along the railing, he kind of wanted to cut that corner. And, you know, obviously that is my bad because even though he has a tendency to do it, it's my job to give him the correct aids to correct him. And even though I was giving him inside leg, it, it just, it's never enough. Hey everyone, so um, <laughs> it wasn't the prettiest, uh, <laughs> it wasn't the prettiest video of me riding him uh, with just a neck rope, but it was not supposed to be. Um, I've only ever ridden him with just a halter and a rope and that wasn't really working. It was mostly just kind of trotting around. So that was his first time um, riding without using the reins and just using the neck rope. I did have to correct him a couple times because I didn't want him to um, have any bad habits. But uh, I mostly uh, wanted to do it not not just to work on him being able to work bridalist, you know, work towards that goal, but I really wanted to do it so I could see what aids I need to work on because so much of the time as riders, we like to be reliant on the bit and we like to be reliant on our rain aids. And so, you know, we want them to turn when we want them to, you know, go along the rail, when we want them to come off the rail, we use our legs, but we also have the tendency to kind of use, um, 
the bit as a crutch. I know I do, especially. That's something I've been trying to work on for a long time. Um, so I wanted to work on him uh, with just the neck rope so I could see what leg aids I'm lacking in. So, you know, if he was coming off the rail, um, I know that, okay, well, I need more inside leg, which is what he was doing on his left lead. So on his left lead, you'll see he really wanted to like just cut the circle halfway across the arena. Um, he did not want to stay along the rail. So basically, uh, to me, that points out that, okay, well, he's not listening to my inside leg. I need more inside leg, and that's something we're really going to have to work on. On his right lead, um, he definitely has a tendency to push me along the rail and knock my spur into the, um, the arena, the outside gate. So um, that's a cue for me to, okay, well, my outside, la my outside aids are failing. I'm not doing a good enough job of holding him in with my outside leg. I need to work on my outside leg. So it was a good um, learning lesson for both of us. Um, he did pretty good considering the fact that he was quite spastic uh, today. He did pretty good. I'm pretty proud of him. Um, I know now what I need to work on when it comes to our dressage. Uh, I know that I need to, my arms getting tired holding this. I know I need to work on um, my leg aids more because he is definitely a horse that doesn't like to listen to leg aids. He's very desensitized and kind of numb to it. I don't necessarily want to use harsh spurs to, you know, make him more sensitive. Um, I'm not a huge fan of really intense spurs. I try to just stick with like nubs. Um, but that is something that we struggle with because he does not like listening to legs whatsoever. Your quotation goes out the window because you're trying to crush watermelons essentially with your leg while trying to look pretty. <laughs> um, but I definitely know now like which, which leads I need to work on what. Um, it's something I want to start doing more on the weekends is um, I've been riding him bareback more and riding with no stirrups more um, and now I want to incorporate um, you know working with just the neck uh, rope because I think it builds confidence in myself and it just helps me get better at my own equitation so I'm not using um, tools as a crutch for my lack of aids and ability to ride properly <laughs> so yeah um it wasn't perfect i just wanted to explain kind of why i was doing it it wasn't so it could look perfect you know he's he's not perfect at listening to my aids he we're not there yet we're you know getting there but um it was mostly so i could work on my leg aids and where i'm failing um and what i need to work on so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for my really, really, really long rant at the end. But uh, yeah, so I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and hit that like button, you know, if, if you weren't super annoyed and if, you know, you liked this video, that'd be great. If you didn't like it, you know, power to you if you want to hit that dislike button. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Cambria and thanks for watching the X-Race Horse. Bye.